This is an especially difficult week for the friends and family of fallen Texas Tech police officer Floyd East Jr. It was this time six years ago they were making funeral arrangements for the officer who was killed in the line of duty. And his widow, Carmen, says the memories of that day are still fresh. KCBD News Channel 11's investigative reporter Shaylee Kidwell shares her story for the first time. Shaylee. Childhood friends turned high school sweethearts. Carmen says she fell for Floyd's sense of humor and his green eyes. Uh, you could not be in the room um, five minutes without you starting to laugh. They lost touch after school, but as fate would have it, they later reconnected. Carmen had two daughters of her own. Floyd completed the family, and he could still make her laugh. He was right there at every punchline. <laughs> If there was a costume in the vicinity, you could bet Floyd was going to find it and model it. As he would tell me, okay, now take a picture of me with this one. Now take a picture of me with this one. <laughs> so really it was like you had three children. Yes, I had three children and he drank a lot of milk. Oh my God, I, I should have bought a cow. With his lifelong love by his side, Floyd decided to pursue his lifelong dream. In the summer of 2017, he joined the Texas Tech Police Department. He was very excited. He, he loved the fact that he was law enforcement now and wore that badge with a lot of pride. In October 2017, Carmen had traveled to Ireland for work. Her best friend was at home with her girls as Floyd completed his shift. And she called me at four in the morning and, and she said, have you heard from Floyd? And I go, no, I, I haven't. I, I heard from him before I went to sleep. We said good night and, we, and that we love each other and that was it. And then she goes, well, babe, something has happened at Texas Tech and there's a police officer that's down. And I said, well, look, no news is good news. But as soon as I said no news is good news, the phone in my room rings. It was the chief of police. And he said, Officer Floyd East Jr. has passed away. And then I, I stayed quiet and I said, is he okay? And then he said, Carmen, Officer Floyd East Jr. has passed away. Carmen was three hours from the nearest airport and more than 4,700 miles away from home. It would take 16 hours and three flights before she could hug her girls, a trip that seemed like an eternity. Those, t those seats had TVs on them, and it was CNN, and I'll never forget it, and showing everything that was happening in Lubbock. One of the stewardess said, I am so sorry, I don't mean to pry, but are you okay? I couldn't even speak, and I was just pointing to the TV. And I was saying, and all that came out was my husband. Finally, Carmen made it home. All three of us fell to the floor there in front of the door, and I told them we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be just fine. As she covered her children in love, the law enforcement community covered her. I didn't expect that we were gonna get all this help from the thin blue line. So we were able to pay our electricity bill, the mortgage and everything because of their help. And that's when I said, <clears throat> I have to give that help as well. That's when Texas 635 was born. Carmen's foundation provides financial and emotional support for law enforcement families whose loved one has been killed in the line of duty a mission that expanded as she visited police departments. A lot of officers were coming to us personally, secretively to tell us that officer over there is not doing very well. Now Texas 635 offers retreats for law enforcement officers, a place where they're surrounded by other officers who can relate. Therapists and counselors are also available. If I wasn't doing this, I don't think I would be doing very well a sense of purpose that has started to replace the resentment. If I will continue to have that anger, the only person that's going to be affected is myself. And for the work that I do, that anger, I can't have it. So I have to have peace in my own heart. And that's what I teach my daughters as well. And that's what we teach to, our, to everybody that comes to our program. And that's where we stand. A foundation that protects and serves the officers who have taken an oath to do the same. Carmen says the next retreat will be in Riodoso, New Mexico on October 19th. She asked for monetary donations so she can prepare meals for those officers. If you would like to help, we're going to have a link on our website. Karen and Emmer.